All right, Steve, let's take a look at your golf swing here. Thanks for sending that over to me. Um, the first thing I notice is um, you're on the golf course and you're wearing a Storm bowling shirt. So um, that may be your first issue. You got the wrong sport attire on, but uh, that's just a joke. So uh, let's kind of get into your golf swing a little bit. So you're over here on the left, and I've got Grant Waite over here on the right side. He's a former PGA Tour player. Um, and probably has one of the most fundamental golf swings um, out of anybody today, even though he's not currently playing. He's just uh, teaching other tour players now. Um, but it's really, really good, as you, you'll see here. So first thing I want to point out, your camera is a little bit off. This is perfect, what we're looking for. Camera-wise is um, the camera right down the hand line towards our target and about belly button to lower rib cage high. So you can see yours is up a little bit in an angle, but that's all right. Um, that's just future reference. Uh, but what I want to notice is, is I've kind of got this little angle here drawn on both. And you can see you're at 42 and he's at 33. And it looks like you were swinging probably a low iron, a wedge, a nine iron, maybe an eight iron at most. Um, and Grant's over here, I think it's either a five or a four iron. So um, you can see he's bent over a whole nine degrees more than you. And he's got a longer club. Um, so typically what the shorter the club is, the more bent over we are. So, um, the first thing I would do for you is kind of get you, um, bend in a little bit more from the waist to get your head and your chest out over the golf ball a little bit more. And that's just going to get you a little bit more relaxed. You can look here, your arms are a lot more tense and tight compared to Grant's. Grant's look real soft and wet. So, um, that nine degrees, it isn't a lot, but it will cause us issues in the golf swing. So, um, what I kind of want to look at and how we'll kind of see it here is I'm going to draw a couple more lines here on both of you. So we're going to kind of go from the tailbone up the back of his rib cage and then up the front and kind of build this little box. And I kind of call this like the golfer's foundation wall, basically, um, so you got your wall here. You can see it's a lot more vertical than his. But as you can see, as we get Grant up to the top, he's it's now on the outside of his rib cage on both sides. And then if we move you to the top, you're kind of the same. You're on the outside on both sides, but you've kind of faked it a little bit. Um, because you can see your head has come off the, the original line where Grant's spine is still on that. So he was able to turn and stay inside his foundation. And you turned and kind of tilted your head down and kind of faked it. So you're getting into position. That's what allows you to even hit it and be the 11 handicap um, they are. Um, other players that do this, same thing, move their head. They don't stay within their foundation. They don't fake it, and those are the guys that are, you know, the 30, 40 handicappers. So, um, that's the biggest thing, is you kind of come off of this. So, you get into what I think we're going to probably measure if, is closer to that 33 degree spine tilt. So, if we go down there, that's down your spine. Yep, so we're seeing now 38 degrees. So, you get into the right spine tilt at the top um, of the backswing, but you don't do it in an efficient way, basically. So um, I teach the five simple keys system, and key number one is a steady head. So we can see your head doesn't stay perfectly steady. It moves a little bit, which is a compensation. Um, but look at your lower body. you got kind of the same angles Grant's got going on. Um, hand position's close to the same. He's got a little bit more power in his right than you got. But as you can see here, because you tilted forward, now as you come into the golf ball, you can start seeing your tush line go into the ball, and now your spine kind of stands up and you kind of throw your hands at it, versus where you can see Grant really just kind of, he's got this rotating spinning motion, right? Look at him. It's still down his spine, the little original line angle. It's going from his back of his neck down through his tailbone, where yours is kind of the same, but it kind of pushes out a little bit. Um, you're kind of squeezing in and going more vertically, where you can see, like I said, him, he's more rotational. 
So it's all just that churn. We gotta get you rotating a little bit more in that barrel, a little tighter circle. Um, CG is kind of the big thing with the biomechanic things, and you know about that with the bowling balls. Um, so we need your CG to be a lot tighter in here, a nice tight circle. So it's gonna create more power, more energy. See, he goes through, his arms stay nice and extended. His arms are really close together there. So you're at that same spot you can see how far away your elbows and arms are so you kind of got that left arm chicken wing to kind of save it and that's all just because your body's kind of been compensating and moving um, all over the place so you've been compensating to save it you're an athlete so you're able to make contact and get the ball in there uh, make contact on the face get the ball airborne get it moving and you can play um, so just a few things that we really need to tighten up like I said are your turn here you need to feel like your chest kind of goes more towards the sky you stay a little bit tighter so you have that same look that grant does over here on this side i mean you can just see that has a lot of power you're very very close your leg work is close to, i mean they almost look exactly the same you've got a little bit more window than he's got but that's mostly um because of the camera angle, we're kind of going this way. And that's why you look like you're maybe a little bit more in your foundation than what you really are is the camera angle too, to keep in mind. So really just work on that turn. So you got a little bit more turn in you. Um, a good thing to do would be kind of put this picture up, print it out or something of Grant over on this side. In fact, I'll clear all these so you have a good clear picture of him. Um, and put it up and then kind of do some mirror work. Um, put the picture in front of you, get in front of a mirror, and get yourself at impact looking like closer to him. So like I said, camera angle here a little bit. You're, it's going to be a little bit off, but just do a lot of mirror work, especially during the winter. Winter time's coming up there in Utah just like it is here in Wisconsin now. So inside mirror work, work on the body positions. What does the body do to make it look like this? What does it feel like? And try to do it as, an, as relaxed of state as possible. Um, that way your, your muscles are going to remember it more because it won't be tense. They'll have a, that muscle memory a lot more. So um, that's basically it. I think you just need to clean up some of that and get a little bit more rotation in your golf swing so your energy isn't working vertically. It's working rotationally. So it's working into the golf ball and then down target line instead of up and away from the golf ball and not down target line. I think you'll be able to pick up a lot of speed, hit the ball further, hit it more solid and a lot straighter and get you down uh, in single digit and handicap down five, six, seven, eight. So um, work on that, keep sending me videos. Um, maybe I'll fix that camera angle a little bit and we'll be able to do a better job of showing you exactly what's going on. But this is a pretty good start. I would work on kind of stabilizing the head, getting a more, efficient and get that turn a little bit more efficient so um, of the five simple keys system key number one is the one that we'd be focusing on right now get that churn um, more consistent and keep that head uh, efficiently steady so keep up the work and let me know how the progress is going